Sponsored by VOA Southeast. Faith Time is our weekly conversation on matters of faith. And joining us this morning is Dr. Lonnie Burnett, the president of the University of Mobile. We wanted to talk about how the pandemic has impacted Christian education. So we asked him first, what's the biggest impact he's seen so far? Well, I mean, the biggest impact right away was that shift back in March when literally overnight, within a week, we had to shift the entire campus from on-ground instruction to online instruction. That, of course, involved closing campus, moving kids out of the dorm, uh, canceling athletic events, things like that. All universities face the same thing. That was, I mean, the biggest immediate impact. And then, of course, planning from, from that point forward obviously took a lot of our time in the, in the subsequent months. How would you rate the almost entirely virtual semester? Well, believe it or not, much better than I first feared. You know, at, at a school like ours, we, we are a on-ground, face-to-face institution. Our faculty and students, I believe, handle this very well. It's almost like they all realized it was out of our control, so they just, they basically just said, let's do it and make it work. And to their credit, the faculty, staff, the students did amazingly well in this shift. I mean, from, you imagine a kid with no online classes all of a sudden having five. Uh, they handle this very well, I thought. What do you think uh, the students and teachers lose out on by not being able to do stuff uh, face to face in the same room? Well, that's where our campus, I think, comes in differently. In a Christian, Christ centered institution, you know, our niche is face to face mentoring. We pride ourselves on that personal touch where, you know, a big school can't do this. A smaller school like us, we can reach each student. We know our kids by name, they come see us in the office. That goes away when you leave campus and go online. So I think for a Christian university especially, that's the part that was missing out. Although we did amazing things to keep that contact, that's the part that, that I think a Christian school, you see a difference when you go to an online, you know, fully online education. What do you think are some of the unexpected upsides uh, that you guys got from educating in this way? Well, there were some, oddly enough. Um, I do, you know, go back to the on online instruction. A lot of faculty who in the past might have been resistant to this found out you can do it, you can make it work, and in some cases it was not so bad. Also, our student life people found very creative ways to stay in touch. We had, you know, online activities for the students, so we tried to, you know, the best we can replicate that on-campus experience. We also, I think, discovered in a smaller school our advantage. You know, I, I compare this to change it to a, turning a speedboat compared to an aircraft carrier. We could be nimble. We could, we could react quickly. And as, as different things came up, a school our size was better equipped, I think, to meet that, that challenge. And we found that we did a good job to do that, I believe. So as far as you can tell right now, what is going to happen in the fall? Well, like every president, we always say, as of now, our plan is to be fully on ground, back on campus, back in the dorms, back in the dining hall. Uh, there will, of course, be modifications. They use that phrase, which I hate, the new normal, but there is a new normal. You know, we'll be, we'll be doing things based on the guidelines that are in place at the time. So social distancing, of course, will be, will be part of the plan. Uh, the, the rearranging classrooms, things like this, may ask who knows about that right now, but it'll be based on what the plans are as far as the time. School starts, I believe, six weeks from Monday. So in the next six weeks, our plans can become you know, more restrictive or less restrictive, depending on what the local authorities tell us. University of Mobile President Dr. Lonnie Burnett, we thank him for joining us for this edition of Faith Time and News 5 this morning.